Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function series. So this week I'm going to go over the transverse abdominis muscle. I will go over the origin insertion, followed by functions, and finally give you an exercise so you guys know how to work this muscle, okay? So looking at the transverse abdominis, just to kind of keep in mind, this is a key muscle in order to keep your abdominal flat along with the key muscle in providing and maintaining core stability. So whenever you do core uh, exercises, you will definitely be uh, working this muscle. So let's start off with location, and then we'll move on to functions, and then we'll get into a little more detailed exercises for you. So as far as the origin goes, the transverse abdominis originates on the lateral third, okay, of the inguinal ligament, which runs from here down, okay? So you're looking at the lateral third of that ligament up and around the inner rim of your iliac crest, up the lumbar fascia, and onto the inner costal cartilages of the last six ribs all the way up through here, okay? And then it inserts onto the aponeurosis of the lena alba, down to the crest of the pubis, and then also deeply into uh, your body here onto the iliopectineal line. And that is actually a really deep part of your pelvic right here. Okay. So now that we know where the location of the transverse abdominis lies, we can now apply a function to it. So the main function of the transverse abdominis is actually force exhalation. Okay. So whenever you okay with intent or on purpose uh, pretty uh, hard or as hard as you can uh, you're working the transverse abdominis okay so if I were to pull the ab in that's where that transverse abdominis uh, works okay the transverse abdominis muscle fibers run side to side, okay? They run with the horizon, okay? So whenever the ab muscles pull in, okay, whenever they pull in like that, that's whenever you are working your transverse abdominis, okay? So to do that, you'd, okay, you can force exhale out and make your abdominals pull straight backwards, okay? Okay. So that's pretty much what you can do in order to exercise the transverse abdominus. Now, whenever you do any type of core stability, this can be through isometric uh, contractions as well. You can hold it in there almost kind of like a vacuum. Whenever you do any type of core exercise, you're looking to actually pull the belly button in. And whenever you pull that belly button in, that's what you're working. You're working your transverse abdominis, okay? So whenever you do crunches and somebody tells you, okay, pull the belly button in, okay, you're actually working that transverse abdominis and making it active and contract so it will provide some core stability, okay? When you do a squat or a deadlift, this will definitely come in handy because you definitely want a strong core so your upper body is not doing uh, whatever it wants to. You have a nice stable core, you can contract, and it's just a whole lot better. And plus, you'll definitely have a flatter, well I guess not, if you work the muscle it's not going to give you a flat stomach. Obviously, we went over this before, you need to do cardio core exercises, and you're looking at watching what's at the end of your fork, your nutrition, okay? So as long as you're watching those three and working your core muscles, you will create a flat ab look. So again, um, core is always important, and I appreciate you guys watching. I hope I answered some more questions for you this week. If I didn't, please post them below. Hit the like button if you like the video and pass it on with a share. Share it with a friend, maybe possibly uh, even get them to watch the video 
if they're not quite sure on the muscles. So I hope everybody has a great and productive week. And I hope everybody will be ready for the next one that comes out. So thanks everybody for watching. See you later.